What the heck is the reason for the loose end or hook on my tape measure? So you may have noticed that on your tape measure that this end piece is loose. And you think, well, how can I get an accurate measurement if that thing is loose? Am I supposed to pull it tight or am I supposed to push it up? The answer is yes, both. <laughs> the really good ones uh, go to a lot of effort to secure that well, not tight, but well, and it actually slides back and forth one sixteenth of an inch. This actual rule here is missing the last one sixteenth. This hook is one sixteenth wide. So when you put it down on the edge of a workpiece and pull it, then that is separating by a sixteenth. And so the edge of your board lines up with what we call true zero because this hook is not part of the measurement. It's been pulled away one sixteenth. Well, okay, when do, you, when do you push it on the inside position? Well, that's when you're measuring inside and you can't hook over something. So you are pushing it against the edge of a workpiece. That pushes this hook in to the edge and the hook itself is 1 16th wide and so that makes up for the missing 1 16th of an inch. So when you push it up like that, now you're measuring from the back side of the hook, which is 1 16th wide, and you get the same measurement as when you're pulling it and measuring from the other side. Fool around with it, you'll see what I mean. Do not tighten that puppy down. Do not throw away your tape measure thinking that that's a mistake, because actually you won't find any tape measure where that's not done that way. The better ones, like I say, like this one from FastCap, is secured really well with four different rivets. If you're a beginner, I hope you're enjoying these, these videos. They're designed for you. Remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Small Workshop Guy, signing off. <music>